<laughs> One day, David with Jacob and Rachel were flying kites on the rooftop of David's home. Jacob's kite became entangled in a tree which grew along the side of the house. Help, shouted Rachel as she ran to a nearby group of men. They appeared to be having a heated discussion regarding which of them was the most important. She hesitated, looked from one to another before she tugged on the sleeve of one of the leaders. The men, however, took no notice of her. It was then that David scampered up the tree to see if he could rescue the stranded kite. While he was halfway up the trunk, a friendly voice called out, Son, come over here for a moment when you're finished. David slithered down the tree, quickly handed Jacob the kite, then ran over to the men. He was welcomed into the group with a playful punch from the gentleman who had called. The kind man slowly and graciously searched the faces one by one of those standing by. He patiently explained, if you want to become an important leader, you must first enjoy serving those around you. Drawing the boy close to his side, the tall stranger placed his hand on David's shoulder. Like this child, you must help care for others in their need. For in God's books, a child's eagerness to help is the greatest example. Jesus the Messiah then lifted David upon the rock beside him, and with a sweep of his hand around the group, said to all, your care for other people is the measure of your greatness, and a little child shall lead you. <laughs>